Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Stubby Perfume Review. So today I'm extremely happy to be reviewing for you Barb's, the brand new Nicki Minaj perfume, The Pink Print. So this perfume launches this year, 2015, and is Nicki's seventh fragrance. It launched exclusively at HSN um, here in August, but is due to launch elsewhere in September. No clear sizes on whether or not it will come out in 100ml, but it does appear that it probably will end up coming out in 100 mil. That it doesn't mean it will, it doesn't mean it won't. I'm just thinking maybe we won't get it here in the United States, but who knows. So the box looks like this on the front, looks very, very similar to the deluxe version of the CD. So on top, you here have Nicki Minaj, the pink print, then you got the pink print, and then you've got Eau de Parfum Spray 1.7 ounce 50 milliliters. The sides say Nicki Minaj, the pink print, and then the top says Nicki Minaj. And then in the back we see the return of a promotional picture, which we did not happen to get a promotional picture on the back of the box for Exotic or Onika. So it's really nice to see that we're getting a promotional picture again on the back of the box. So, the bottle looks like this, and my only issue with this bottle is this. So... Here is the pink print bottle. So you've got this white wig, these new kind of fuchsia or bright pink colored lips, and then you've got the bustier, which is the pink print. So my issue with this is here is the 100 milliliter of special edition. Here is the pink print. The wigs are very, very similar. Like, the only really difference you can tell from the lips, from these two, is the lips. Like, if you were to compare them, they're, like, the exact same wig. It's, like, that's my only issue with the fact that they recycled the wig. Um, I wish we would have gotten a whole new wig this time. Maybe something, like, different color pink, or who knows. There's so many, uh, different options that Nikki could have gone with and so I don't like that we have a white wig again. If we would have went with the white wig, I don't mind the white wig because I do like how it matches the box and everything. I just wish that we would have gotten a different wig than them just recycling the special edition wigs. So, with this, your top notes are pink grapefruit, bergamot and passion fruits, middle notes are sensual, nectarine, fragipani, orange blossom, and heliotrope and rose with base notes of coconut, white driftwood, sandalwood, patchouli, and skin musk. So, before I start really diving too deep into this review, I will say that this is completely different from anything Nikki's ever done before. This is very grown up for Nikki. Um, it's not super fun and fruity like her previous ones have been. This one is more grown up and more mature. So when you first spray it, the first thing you get is the pink grapefruit kind of coming out, giving us a little bit of a citrusy, but it's not super powerful. It's not like an orange blast when you first spray it. Um, the bergamot and the passion fruit kind of back it up to add a little bit more fruitiness to it. Um, then as it starts to dry down, you get the, the nectarine I can kind of get adding a little bit of a juiciness to the fragrance. Um, Fragopani, Orange Blossom, Heliotrope, and Rose. I definitely can smell all of those kind of combining together and making kind of like a little bit of a, like a tropical floral bouquet, if you will. Um, definitely has a very floral heart. Um, this fragrance is definitely kind of on that more sensual floral. Um, base notes are coconut, water, coconut, white driftwood, sandalwood, patchouli, and skin musk. So out of that, I get the wood. I definitely get that driftwood. It's kind of got this woody end, but it's not like super, super woody. Um, sandalwood kind of adds that. The patchouli adds the warmth throughout the entire fragrance. And as you guys know, I'm not a huge patchouli fan. And I think that's kind of what's putting me off on this fragrance. Not that I hate this fragrance. It's just not my favorite Nikki fragrance that's out there. Um, and it's partly because of that patchouli being there and kind of rounding out the fragrance, which some people do like patchouli, so don't take the I don't like patchouli to dampen your fragrance on this. Um, and then the skin musk adds that musky kind of undertone. So 
In my opinion, I was talking to my friend who happened to get this early, and he said it's reminded him of Jennifer, Lo Jennifer Lopez's Miami Glow. And, and to me, what I get with this is another fragrance came out last year that a lot of people said smelled like Miami Glow. And I, I kind of got what they were talking about, and it was Taylor Swift's Incredible Things. So, in my opinion, the pink print is the gap between Incredible Things and Miami Glow that we're kind of missing between the two to kind of tie them together. Um, it has that kind of like warmth, sensualness that um, Incredible Things has, and the kind of fun and fruity tropicalness that Miami Glow has. Which definitely is kind of a nice fragrance. It's going to be... I have a feeling this is going to be someone's signature scent. I have definitely know that they're going to wear this a lot. Because it is a really, really nice fragrance. It's just the patchouli kind of throws me off on it. So, um... Lasting Power, I would probably give it about six hours. Definitely because that's kind of how all Nikki perfumes last with me. So, um... Definitely be sure it's supposed to launch in the September... Um, if you were able to get it through HSN, I'm pretty sure I think it already sold out through HSN. I'm not 100% positive on that. I haven't checked the stock today, so. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the pink print. I just, I definitely want to know once you guys get your own bottles what you think of the new addition to Nikki's collection. So, as always guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And as always guys, have a great, great day. Bye.